Hi there, it's me, Hang 'em High 2001, to show you my East German camo combat packs. You get a three pack of these for uh, $9.99 from centerfiresystems.com, and this is called Rain Tree. And I wanted to show you the inside and do a water dunk test and show you how it holds ammo better than them uh, steel uh, ammo cans, which seem to rust out on me in the bottom. You know, so. This is the best way to get a whole ammo if you can get it. So, let's see. First of all, you can see I'm able to mark them all with the caliber that's in here. I do believe these here are called Arno straps. And they're the best straps in backpacking you can get that I ever saw. They're made in Germany. Yep, the strongest made. And you can see battle packs in there are very tight see they hold very nicely in there I think I got 1500 rounds in one of these so talk about a bug out bag Let's see see the best way really for most of you guys to carry just the steel ammo packs is just to carry it like this okay but it does harness on it. See, and the harness attaches right here. See, and right here. And this thing just drapes to the bottom. It must be for something else. And then on the side here, you have this one right here. It goes in here like this. And then you have these on the side here. They go in here like this on the side. See, there's this strap right here on the side. And these were put on it like that. But these are just as nice as those ones you get for white water rafting. Rubber impregnated, uh, you know, cloth of some sort, nylon. And now it doesn't go up through the top like this. Even though that's on there, I've seen people doing that. It doesn't really go that way. So, if you want, you can just cut this off. But the best thing I like about them is, see this one's not even marked. I have this one marked for 762 times 39. They store in there real nice too, see? See that? They pack in there real nice. See, let's get to the nitty gritty. What makes this so nice is the fact that it's made in Germany. They're $9.99. You buy steel ammo cans this much would cost you six bucks. But this is the proper way to uh, secure your ammo. See, take this and it pops up to the bottom and then you roll that in there. Oh yeah, and believe me, I know all about water. More so than you do, because you're the one that goes and get, gets lessons for white water raft and I don't need them. So then that there holds that tight. And I believe you can submerge this whole load like that. What is this? This one wasn't marked. Again, you can see how nice they fit in there. See the ammo? Keeps in there real nice. This is, um, yep. This is uh, eight millimeter ammo for the German Mauser. Yep. So again, remember, what I'm telling you is you roll this up. And by rolling this up, it actually makes it completely watertight. That's how you roll dry bags up. And you roll them up like that, they're completely dry. They do that too when I'm on the marine radio. As soon as I say something, they all got to try to over talk over me. But before I came outside in my backyard, it was real quiet.
So you can see this one here is my 22 ammo. Oh yeah, you have to be a citizen like me to buy ammo. And to have a gun, you can't be a felon. You know? So don't listen to that guy. See how the 22 ammo stores in there too real nicely? See that? And I didn't roll this up. I kept it down there. That's how it looks when you get it. So now I'm going to take it down to the lake and stick some paper in there with some rocks and then I'm going to dump them. Dunk them in about that fast. Here's the pack. It's in the crick. Okay, see, I put this tissue paper in here. You can see how wet that gets. You'll be able to tell that it's wet. So, this is how you roll that up again. Roll it real tight. Like so. Bring the ends in like this. Like so. Just flap over it. Bring these flaps in here. these type of connectors. Put this other arm strap in there. We'll head up the creek here where you find the deep spot. And you notice I'm hiking in my Walmart thing. Which has to be there so so you can get the creek. I think you need a pole. Because this will be easy. And I rolled up my uh, fisherman pants. Yeah, it's a fisherman. Let's get into the deep here. And there she is. She's completely dumped. She's completely dumped. Yep, you can see the time, and if I go up the creek a little further, it's even deeper. Yep. Pretty nice down here, isn't it? The creek in the summer. Yep, so, let's bring it out now and check it. <clears throat> So you can see why my slides would be off in the camping sheet. Plus the pain of the crocs, because now you can just put your hike and sneakers back on and go away. Look, weigh your crocs. If you wear crocs don't aren't that light, then uh, I wouldn't carry crocs. That's for sure. So now we're up on dry shore with my uh you can see the sandals don't retain any water. Let's see if it's completely waterproof because you can see I dunked it. It's got the canvas outside. Also you can see how well it blends in with the woods. Not too bad, huh? Let's see. We stuck that stuff right up on top. Alright, so wanna, you know. None of this drips inside from the top. See, and there we're on fasten it, and we've got some water in there. See, but uh, how about this? See, this is still dry, fairly. I think we might have got some of that water. Here's a rock, see, and here's some more rocks. So, we 
you can dunk it out. You pick up water fully submerged. So now we're just gonna let it sit in the water. See if that way works better. See it might only be waterproof like that on the bottom. It still might leak through the top, except in like in a heavy rain. So we're gonna let it sit there for about ten minutes. That's been about ten minutes now. Let me take it out. Swing it over here. And look inside. See if it leaks to the bottom. I should have did that just first. Now, see, that way, she's pretty, that she's dry. It's only leaking through the top. Even though that's how yeah, you roll a dry bag like this, it does leak with this. So, as far as enamel pouch, yeah, this stuff's awesome. Because you're not going to be throwing it in the freaking river or nothing and be coming back a day later. Which I was hoping you could. But all in all, yeah, you can roll that up like I showed you. Flip this over. And like between these two rocks and stuff like, like that you'll be able to hide it just like that in the water your ammo and it won't get wet it's only leaking through the top See? so then you got you can put your type of ammo or what you got in these and like i said they're three for 9.99 at centerfiresystems.com so i recommend them you see these might be for your rockets here stuff but you can use them for like a horseshoe roll, like a, um, you know, say your wool blanket, you can put it in there and wrap it up there and then tie it two things around here and then bring it right around your uh, wool blanket too. So that's about it for that one. Thanks for watching. So yeah, you can walk barefooted in this stuff, sure, but see, you just can't kick your shoes off and pick them up and walk barefooted in that stuff. And that, see, when you come to this stuff here, you know, you can't really go barefooted like that through this stuff. You crazy? Come on, stop it. <laughs>